Hello guys, Catherine here. Some nephrologists are starting people with CRF on Ozempic, a weight loss medicine to help them lowering their creatinine levels and reversing the decline of GFR. Science confirms that an improvement in GFR may be possible when taking Ozempic. Along with a huge decrease in proteinuria, cholesterol level, sugar level, and body weight. So today we talk about all these new medicines that can be used to effectively treat one of the most serious and common causes of kidney damage, obesity. Yes, today there are pharmaceuticals that does exactly that, make you lose 18% or even more of your body weight in just a few months. But can they really help lowering creatinine levels? Let's find out! Question: What pharmaceuticals are approved by the FDA for weight control? There are currently five molecules approved by the FDA. Most interesting for us are liraglutide and semaglutide. Semaglutide in particular, or Ozempic, is a GLP-1 agonist and is what we are interested in today. It's a once-a-week injection that's approved for weight loss and that was also tested in people with T2D and CRF. Notice that there are other forms of the medicine that can be taken orally, but they have been studied less than Ozempic. And since the aim of today's video is to see if it works, if it can be used to lower your creatinine levels, I want to focus on the most studied form. So, why is Ozempic useful for us? Does it just make you lose weight or does it also lower your creatinine levels? To understand that, we need to answer one question. Can you lower your creatinine levels by losing weight? Short answer is yes, if you are overweight. Long answer is yes. But you also need to take into account other factors such as your GFR. More about this in a moment. What I need to make clear before we move on is that being overweight do cause kidney damage. That's not my opinion, that's scientific consensus. I will read from a scientific paper published on a peer-reviewed journal now. Since obesity is intimately linked to diabetes and hypertension and is linked to hemodynamic structural and histological renal alterations, it has been identified as one of the major causes of CKD. So again, that's not me saying that. It's scientific consensus about the issue. And I know that there are people that will be mad at me for saying that. Please don't be mad at me. Many people will tell you that you can be healthy at any weight, and I respect that. But I also have to tell you that there is scientific consensus about the damage being overweight does to the kidneys. So make your own deductions and conclusions. I am extremely against any type of discrimination, obviously, but probably your nephrologist won't be as tactful about this issue as I am. What most nephrologists will tell you is that if you are overweight or obese, losing extra weight will definitely help you. So that got the short answer, which is yes, if you want to lower your creatinine and you need to lose weight, do it. But there is a long answer too. As I was saying, none of the medicines currently approved for weight loss are also approved for stage 5 CRF. Ozempic, the most tested one, was only tested in people with a GFR of 15 or more. But on the other hand, there are nephrologists giving Ozempic to people in stage 5 who need to lose weight in order to get on the transplant list. So we will definitely have more data about this issue in the future. In short, if you are in stage 2, 3 or 4 and you need to lose weight, talk with your nephrologist about GLP-1 agonists, even if you don't have T2D. And with that out of the way, Question, 
How do GLP-1 agonists work? GLP-1 agonists work by reducing the appetite and feelings of hunger. People taking this reportedly markedly less appetite and they eat less. Ozempic and the other GLP-1 agonists slow the movement of food from the stomach into the small intestine, making people feel full for longer. Last, they also stimulate the body to produce more insulin, which in turn lowers sugar levels, also leading to weight loss. It basically tricks the brain into thinking we are full and dials down appetite so we eat less. Here's what a formerly obese person taking Ozempic said about her experience. At first I felt like I've been abducted by aliens. For the first time in my life I could go into a cafe, see some caramel shortbread and not have my body screaming, I need one. Instead it was, I don't feel hungry, my body was saying, you don't want it. It wasn't me using willpower. She says about the experience. So question, what results can you expect in terms of weight loss? Weight loss can vary depending on which GLP-1 is used and obviously on body weight. However, the results are pretty solid with this. On average, people who were obese lost about 15% of their body weight when taking semaglutide alongside healthy lifestyle advice in a trial. In the same study, people only making similar lifestyle changes without semaglutide only lost 2.4% of their body weight. Which is a huge difference! It's worth mentioning that people in these studies were also found to have other major benefits from semaglutide. Research has found that GLP-1 agonists may lower the risk of heart disease, heart failure and stroke. People taking this have seen their pressure and cholesterol levels improve too, undoubtedly due to weight loss. And what about people with kidney disease? What kind of result can they expect? Question, what results can you expect in terms of GFR improvement? In the most recent study on semaglutide, people in stage 3 to 5 had, on average, a 2.2 points improvement in GFR over the course of one year. Now, test subjects in this study had all T to T and a GFR higher than 15 but less than 60. An improvement of 2.2 points in GFR may not seem so impressive, but if you consider that it was achieved with just one injection per week of a single medicine, well, it is impressive. You're gonna like it. Even better, participants had a very significant improvement in proteinuria. We are talking about the 53% decrease in albumin to creatinine ratio here, which is the main test to measure proteinuria. They also decreased their HbA1c, lost weight, obviously, and significantly lowered their blood pressure and cholesterol levels. So a pretty amazing result if you ask me. There are other trials going on today to tell us more about this, however. A large phase 3 study on people with CRF and T2D was started in 2019. It involves 3,508 participants with a GFR higher than 25 and lower than 75. Thanks to this study, we will have even better data about semaglutide in kidney disease next year, in 2024. We will also have more info in the future about the possibility for those without T2D of using this pharmaceutical. Question, is Ozempic the same as Forexiga? No, Ozempic is not the same as Forexiga. Ozempic is a GLP-1 agonist while Forexiga is a SGLT2 inhibitor. They have similarities, they both help with T2D, they both help with proteinuria, they both can be used to control sugar levels. But while Forexiga can make you lose weight, it isn't approved by the FDA for that. What Forexiga is approved for is to help people with CRF both with and without T2D. This is why it's particularly interesting for us. Now guys, if you want to know more about Forexiga, I made a video about it. It's up here.
Are there known unwanted effects from taking Ozempic? More common include nausea, vomiting, intestinal problems. This is especially common in those also taking another medication to control sugar levels. There are also reports of people losing GFR and even experiencing AKI due to the use of Ozempic. This is why, when you are started on a GLP-1 agonist, your nephrologist is supposed to monitor your GFR more often. Another recommendation is to always maintain very good hydration when taking a GLP-1 agonist. Unwanted effects are more serious and more common in those who are not sufficiently hydrated. Question: Are there natural alternatives to Ozempic? Yes, there are a few natural supplements that can help you lose weight and control T2D. None has the same dramatic effect as Ampic or other GLP-1 agonists have, obviously. But natural supplements also don't have serious unwanted effects. Most effective, in my opinion, is berberine. While berberine is not a magic weight loss pill, it may really help. Studies have shown that people taking it may lower their creatinine and their body weight in a pretty safe and effective way. If you want to know more, my video about berberine is up here. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.